about this Let's Play Minecraft series. This is episode 2 on the brand new world and guys, um, welcome back. So we got a lot of stuff done to do today, um, and well, I, I just want to get started. So yeah guys, whoops, I'm accidentally resizing my screen, which is messing up everything. So guys, in the previous episode we started out in this cave, and well, it looks pretty interesting out there. Um, we haven't really done much exploring, but right now I want to get myself into a position where I can go ahead and sort stuff out, um, get myself up to a point where I feel happy with. And yeah, guys, so today we're going to start out by waiting for daytime and going out and having a bit of a look around here. Um, then we're going to come back in here and see if we can start working out how this place will look because I want this to be the entrance I'm thinking of this being the main entrance and then maybe a glass wall window here looking out into the trees and stuff um, so I'm hoping that will be quite good looks a pretty nice place already so guys um we, we haven't really set ourselves up much. We've got a skeleton over there. It's going to be a bit of a pain. Although it might give us a bow. Let's see if we can take you on. Now we got some bone meal though. That wasn't too bad. There's a zombie over there. Let's, let's use this bone meal and get us some, ourselves some food. Because I'm going to need this stuff. Um, so guys, I'm not entirely sure how I want to do this. Um, I at least want to get it set up. And you may remember in the previous episode that I wasn't really sure what I was doing. <laughs> I don't know if that came across, but I really wasn't sure what I was doing. Um, like now, I'm climbing up the wrong part. And I really need to fix that up. I need to make sure I have a way up and down here that's not too difficult. But for now, guys, we are going to start out by apparently getting more wood, because we don't have much wood on us. So, yeah. Um, now, you may notice that I have... I'm not looking... Like, I don't have my microphone and stuff, and... That's partly because I don't actually have a microphone. That microphone I was using wasn't mine, um, but I was just borrowing it, so we're kind of stuck with what we have this time around, which is why I've started something which I hope you guys might get on, on board with. Um, it's, it's something that I've noticed a lot of people are doing nowadays, and I kind of want to be part of it because I think it will help me and it will give you guys rewards too. That thing that I've started is Patreon. I am now a Patreon, whatever that means. Um, basically, I'm going to be making videos and uploading them to YouTube still. And I'm also going to be linking them to my Patreon page. And hopefully. And, well, depending on what you guys think, you guys are able to donate money um, to me to help me get better at stuff, like, get better equipment and things. And the best part about it is that you guys will get rewards for doing that. Um, I still have a fair amount of working out the rewards to do, but that's basically how it works. It's it's a free thing. It's not, it's basically is profit. It's like it's, so you can't really say it's a non not for profit thing, but it's basically a way to help um not just me but anyone get better stuff. Make give give you guys rewards too. And um sorry I'm just thinking what I'm doing. Give myself some bread and. Hopefully we can use it to get better at this, get it better stuff, and become a better YouTuber too. Um, so yeah, I'll put a link to the description below, in the description below, to um, my Patreon page. And if you guys like my videos enough and want to help me, support me, go ahead and donate a bit of money. I mean, 
it, it will help me become a better YouTuber and give you guys awards too. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about starting a Minecraft server too, and maybe a few other servers depending on how things go. Because I'd like us to, I'd like there to be a few different servers that you guys can join and say, I feel like doing this today and let's just jump on and have fun. Um, so that would be that would be fun. So yeah, go ahead and check out my Patreon page. Um, by the way, we're just trying to find a cave system or something. Um, ooh. Ooh, we got sheep. We have sheep. Ooh. Plans are forming in my back of my mind. Right? Sheep, okay. You gotta remember that there's sheep around here. And we don't want to go too far from that too, so that we know where we are. Um, but anyway guys, so I've been thinking, as well as my Patreon page, I've also been thinking a lot about what I want this series to be. So I've finally decided on something. Hello sheep. I finally decided on how I want to do this. Um, so normally I start out, I build up, I, I normally end up having a chest room, which I guess is fine, but I've been thinking about that, and I've thought of a different way that I could do this. Um, so basically what I'm thinking is, instead of a chest room, we're going to get some food from these sheep, instead of a chest room, how about I turn make create shops and store all my items in there so we could have half a dozen shops some for basic items like stone and cobblestone and um, stone bricks and stuff and then others for like near the brick and uh, near the shop and a farming shop and stuff like that and that's where all my ores will be stored um, and stuff so that's my idea for this I, I reckon it's a pretty interesting idea, and I want to, I'm, I'm quite interested in how it will work out. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my idea, and I think I'm going to stick with it. we got a nice cave around here, it looks like. Just the other side, and we got a big cave. Oh! Sound of a skeleton. Um, anyway guys, I think that's going to be a pretty good idea, because that way, it doesn't really f build up we, we don't really need a um, chest room that way. Wow. And it kind of makes it easier. Because then we can be like, okay, that's in the chest. The, this room, we'll just go in here. Now, the other thing I want to add to this is kind of a system where it automatically sorts ores. Now, I know that sounds a little tricky, maybe. Um, I, I haven't entirely worked out how it would work. But... I want to try it. I want a system whereby it, you can put stuff in a chest, it will take, go to a minecart, and that minecart will go around and say, this stuff goes here, um, this stuff goes here, stuff like that. The skeleton around. Here he is. I can barely see him. I can barely see him. Um, but that's my idea guys, and I think it's going to be an interesting idea. That way we could even turn it into like a little community, a uh, store or something, uh, um, a, a small town or something, and I reckon that's a pretty cool idea. Um, it's mu a much better idea than my build a city one, because this way we don't really have to design the buildings around the city. We can just design a town and have the bu design the building separately. Because then they don't have to look exactly the same, and they don't have to fit it all together and stuff. And I just I feel like that way is going to be a lot easier than um, any other way. So I'm open to any suggestions you guys might have. Um, what what buildings would you like to see? What sort of um, systems would you like to see in it and I'm, I'm hoping this will end up being a pretty good redstone one too so maybe we could have a automatic potions dispenser or um, what else a pretty much anything I'm definitely going to set up an automatic furnace though and maybe have some sort of flip 
leave the th system so that you can switch between um, automatic furnace and having to pick it up manually because manually you can get XP from that too so I would like an XP system too and also guys I would like love to make a um, a mob grinder too because that would be so helpful for XP and stuff and if we can find a mob spawn we can use that too that would be awesome um, so right now guys I'm just collecting materials and coal and stuff oh and guys I love shaders I've like they have changed this game so much and they haven't actually changed the game that's the best part they like change how it looks but it still looks amazing so like this light it's 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 like it's impressive how they've done that um, now I know that this torch gives off light and it's kind of oh no 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 I'm not ready hmm well that was fun guys it's it's death equals one that's all I'm gonna say <laughs> that was not the best thing to happen to me I know I said I was gonna try and limit my deaths and that just ruined that whole thing I, I, was, I mean I know I said I was gonna try and not get any deaths at all but that kind of ruined it um stupid skelly I mean really that skeleton had to I, I saw him I could have kept running I ran the wrong way that was a whole thing um anyway guys oh well we can we can get back from this we can get our stuff back I know where, where to go wasn't that far um but yeah guys I think this is this is looks like, pretty awesome we could build a little area around here that's like a garden or something but I think I'm getting a bit too ahead, ahead of myself guys <laughs> I think I'm getting a bit little bit too ahead of myself um, let's just start off by working by collecting resources because that's always a good start uh, this way and then around here and up here up here here we go so that was fun and the skelly's still around here somewhere just eat something Sorry, I'm just moving the camera slightly. Where are you, skeleton? Bottom. Alright. So... I think right now, going off that death, we got to get ourselves some armor and some food if we can. Preferably armor to start with, because then we can limit the amount of damage taken. So let's just quickly create a crafting table, get an achievement for that, and we'll just grab some stone. Um, so yeah guys, I want to hear what you guys think. Do you guys think my idea is, an, is a good one? Should we try it, or should we try just going straight out, building some stuff, saying, well, I feel like doing this today. Um, Stuff like that. Do you guys think I should do that? Because, as I keep saying, this this is a series that I want you guys to be part of too. So, yeah. Um, also, guys, I've been thinking about the camera thing. I'm not entirely sure it worked for me. I mean, at least not at this point. Um, I'm not entirely sure I want to just use the camera all the time. But I, wonder, oh, I do want to hear you, what you guys think. Do you? I'm asking you guys a lot of questions, aren't I? Um, do you guys think I should be using the camera? And I mean, it's there, and it, it it's okay. But I kind of feel like I could do better without it. Um, I feel <laughs> it's probably kind of a um, self-image sort of thing, probably. Probably the best description. Alright, so we got six iron. 
I'm just changing topics here, guys. Please ignore me. Let's let's start off by making an iron helmet. They got an iron helmet now. Don't we look pretty swish in our iron helmet? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Um. So we're going to continue exploring. In fact, I might just keep exploring, grab some more materials, and I will bring you guys back when we find something sort of interesting. Or, if we can't find anything interesting, when we get back from this. Yeah. So guys, see you in a second. Guys, well, we got a fair amount of iron from that. Um, got 15 here, I went back and grabbed some food and stuff, and we and put some in the furnace back there, so we got about, we got enough for a good set, set of armor, um, but I reckon we probably need to just head back and start thinking about food too, um, cause we are very very low, um, there you go, another 25 plus the iron helmet that I've got, let's just quickly craft them, some iron leggings and an iron chest plate and lastly some iron boots give me those awesome so let's just grab what we have here let's cook some food to start with because otherwise i'm not going to get far um let's grab some more coal we almost have oh we almost have there you go 10 10 levels of iron um 10 levels of iron, 10 levels of XP, that's pretty good, that's a good start, um, with one death, two, um, anyway, so guys, we're going to head back, and, yeah, we'll see what we can do, we're going to start working out some stuff that we can set up, um, so guys, I will be right back in a split second, so yeah, see you in a sec, alright, alright, welcome back, um, so we grabbed a fair amount of stuff from that, um, let's just drop that off, and I want to start thinking about how this place looks, um, so I want this to be some sort of entrance, so maybe we have three blocks here, but maybe we could extend the wall out on one side, um, how about we move this and extend it this way. And then we can have a 2x2 two two entrance, which will be pretty good. And let's just do this. So you yeah, guys, I'm as I keep saying I want this to be a a a build a, a viewer styled build um so I keep on missing server guys, sorry. A viewer styled world. Um I need more water, more bone meal, more my wheat. So let's just quickly grab more wheat. Um, but yeah, I want this to be one that you guys take a control of, sort of. So it's like your world, but I'm, I'm the one building it all. Um, I mean, right now, I'm, I'm dividing it all, which is fine, I don't mind that. But if you guys have any ideas for what I can do, please don't hesitate. No matter how crazy they are, I will try my best to get them to work. Um, I need to work this out. So what I want, we're just going to work on the entrance today, and then we'll end this episode here. Um, I want some sort of way that we can make it blend in but also look pretty good too so let's try maybe a stone brick um so like stone brick like this and then we want two doors so we want uh, the thing is what sort of door do we want then because if we come over here and grab some birch. Um, birch doors and wood doors have different textures. So what would work best is... Hmm, this 
is a tricky thought, guys. Um, because that looks pretty good, but it. I'm wondering if we add some stone around the top edge, or maybe maybe we want to maybe we make it so it stands out because. I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna grab that out. Um, where's that birch? There it is. So what I'm meaning is, if we put birch in here, birch doors have a different texture to wood doors, and I'm not entirely sure which one I would like better. So let's think. Um, let's add maybe like this. Maybe we can make it feel like sort of like a hobbit hole, like Lord of the Rings style. <laughs> Don't know why. Lord of the Rings just is the first thing that comes to mind. Um, so maybe like that, and then we add some birch, and then. I'm really not sure. How about this? How about we try? Ah, oh, let's make an axe. Let's make an axe. Much easier this way. Let's just let's try something. Um, I'm gonna try put this in here. Um, sorry, like. So we got a bit of a choice. So I want to come back here a bit. We're going to have a look at this and try and decide what we think is better. So, the birch one on the right seems, it looks kind of better. It makes it more, feel more like it's, it feels more closed dwarf and, I'm not sure, I think I like the, the birch a bit more. Oh, you know what you could do? Ooh, 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 this is an idea. Okay, let me let me just try something, guys. I'm going to I'm going to use birch, but I'm going to just try something. Oops, <laughs> I'm putting down them randomly. Um, so let's just put this cooked right in. Let's go have some cooked. All right, so what I want to try is these edges I want to try extend them outwards a bit make it more feel 3D-ish 3D-ish I know that's not a word but anyway you'll see what I mean so like oops there I, I think you guys can see what I'm meaning by this hopefully so something like that. So then it's more menacing, maybe. I don't think menacing is the right word. Um, I think that looks actually quite good. And maybe we could add some stone. Some let's let's try adding some stone, co some cobblestone wall, and we'll see how this looks. Because then you only get a section of the stone part behind it, and it kind of, I feel like it would be look, look pretty good. Let's have a look. Oh wow, that actually looks really good. I mean, you can't, you can kind of see the stone brick up that edge. So maybe if we take out the sides. Um, but that looks pretty cool, I reckon. I mean, it looks 3D-ish, like the block, you can tell it's a separate, it's out of block. But maybe if we take out this, this stone on the either side, um, let's see what this looks like. Oops. So I'm just working on this for this, for you guys. Um, right, let's try that. 
I think we're gonna have to tidy up the stone around there. Ooh, yes. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I'm pretty impressed with that, guys. I'm gonna stick with that. Now, um, I, I, I know I'm jumping straight into things really quickly here. I'm not even letting us really have time to sort stuff out, but I kind of want to jump straight in. So the other thing I want to sort out is the inside. I think I might do do what we originally had on the inside, so that way it doesn't really look too confusing. And maybe maybe I'll turn these into stairs and go like this. I reckon that would look pretty cool. Um, so I killed a few sheep, which means I have a fair amount of wool. Let's just create a bed quickly. Um, and speaking of sheep, we should probably start thinking about collecting animals to feed on. As you can see, I've got a few achievements here, guys. Nice. Um, but guys, I reckon that looks pretty cool, and I reckon I'm gonna, I'm, I'm probably, I'm gonna have to end my the episode here, guys. Actually. Unfortunately, let's just let's just take a good look at this this build. Um, let's just have a quick look. And guys, between this episode and the next episode, I'm gonna try and set up this farm a bit more. Oh yes, that looks awesome. Maybe we can add some glowstone when we get to that point. But for now, that looks awesome. Um, but yeah, guys, between this episode and the next episode, I'm going to be working on this farm a bit more, trying to make it look a bit nicer and. Well, maybe not nice, and maybe to start with, we'll just get, enough, get it, us up to the point where we can um, have enough food to live off. Because I want to end up making a farm in here, probably. Maybe a farm in here, or maybe we put it out there. But guys, I reckon that will be, that's a good start for now. We've got a good setup. Um, we got some iron, finally, and we got some armor, of course. That's the best part. So yeah, guys, I reckon I'm going to end this episode here. Um, we've, we've had a good 30 minutes of footage, and hopefully it wasn't too tiring or boring. I've been trying to keep my videos down, but I'm not sure I'm succeeding too well. In fact, I've, I'm starting to think maybe I just keep going like I used to. So guys, um, let me just finish this, and I will say goodbye. Um, so yeah, if you... I hope you enjoyed this episode guys, I reckon this, this wall looks pretty nice, it looks, looks pretty good, sort of 3D-ish like I was hoping for, except those doors are now in the wrong spot, oh no they're not, um, so yeah guys, anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button if you have any comments or ideas, go ahead and hit me up in the comment section, I try and read your comments if I can, and if you are new people, if you, there are any new people watching this video who are not subscribed to me, go ahead, that, ahead and hit that subscribe button so that I c you can see more of my content as it comes out, and guys, um, now that I am patron, go ahead and check out my patron page, and if you want to, go ahead and donate so that I can start thinking about awesome rewards for you guys, start giving you guys stuff that you will enjoy, and hopefully get better equipment for myself to do better videos with. So guys, that being said, um, hope you enjoy, have a good rest of your day, um, thanks for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Goodbye guys.